Hello, my children. How are you all? I hope you and all your family are keeping well and safe. Did you all have a nice Easter? Lockdown bored you thought yeah? School miss saying that da. Karche miss saying that da, le? So, unfortunately, we are unable to do the catechism classes as normal. So, Bali uncle and Tony uncle will not be able to join with me. So, we will be doing the catechism lessons like Bali uncle did last time. We will be doing a few video sessions. Let's all begin with a small prayer. That's how we usually begin, isn't there? So, let's all hold our hands and do the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thee amongst women and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So last week, I think you were um, looking into chapter 11, which was the disciples' journey to Emmaus and Jesus joining with them. So Baliangal explained how the disciples were really happy after seeing Jesus and also when they recognized it was Jesus. And today we will be looking into chapter 12. I'll say the title of the chapter then you will know what is it about. The title of the chapter is My Lord my God. I think we all are very familiar with these verses. We all know who said this. And the person who said is very special for us. Especially for the Christians in India and the Christians in Kerala. I think now you might have got whom I will be speaking to. And what I will be speaking about. Who said these verses? My Lord, my God. Saint Thomas. Yes. He is a patron saint of India. And he was the one who established the church in India. So Saint Thomas is actually very special for all the Christians in Kerala. And all the Nasranis in Kerala. So we will be looking into the chapter in more in detail in the next video. After the death of Jesus, the disciples were really frightened. They were actually like really frightened to go out. They were really sad. They were really upset. They lost all the hopes. Because they thought Jesus is a king and he will establish a kingdom. Jesus had mentioned that as well. So when Jesus was caught by the Jews and when he was crucified by the Jews, the disciples thought, oh, this is the end. So this is the end and nothing is going to happen. So they were actually like really frightened to go outside. They were all staying in a locked room. So one day um, after the resurrection, when did Jesus resurrected? Three days after the crucifixion, which is on a Sunday. So the very night after the resurrection, the disciples were 
in a locked room. Suddenly, Jesus appeared before them. They stood amidst of them. Seeing Jesus, they were really happy. They were rejoiced. And Jesus actually showed them his hands and his side where he had the wounds. Because Jesus was, his hands were nailed onto the cross. So his, his palm had really, really bad wound. He showed this wound in his palm and the wound in his side to Jesus. Sorry, to the disciples. After seeing this, the disciples were almost clear about the resurrection of Jesus. So the disciples could connect the things, the crucifixion, the death and the resurrection. They started to believe that Jesus was died, but he is risen now. He is resurrected and he has appeared before them and he is with them. So they started to realize the facts. They were really happy seeing Jesus. But one person was not with them when Jesus appeared before them. Let's see that in the next video. When Jesus appeared um, to disciples, as I said, Thomas was not there. So when Thomas came back, all the disciples told him the exciting news. Hey, we saw Jesus. What will be Thomas' reaction? What do you think? Thomas is happy, are you? Baki Ellarim Ishoye Kandana Varnapa, Thomas is happy, are you? Definitely not. He was not very happy. It was a mixture of feeling. It could be the distress that he missed the apparition of Jesus because he really wanted to see him. He was actually very close to Jesus. Thomas was the disciple who said he was even prepared to he was even prepared to face death for Jesus. So you could imagine the frustration Thomas had when the other disciples said, we saw Jesus. He was the, he was the disciple actually, uh, when the other disciples tried to stop Jesus going visiting Lazarus house. He was the disciple who said with courage, let us also go with him. So he was, he was very close to Jesus. So when the disciples said, when the other disciples said, we saw Jesus, St. Thomas said, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hand and put my finger in his side, I, I won't believe. That's what he said. So a few days after, it was around eight days after, when the disciples were again in the room, the doors were closed. Jesus appeared before them. He stood in the midst of them and said, Peace be with you. So that time, Thomas was also with them. So Jesus said to Thomas, Thomas, come here. Put your finger in my side. See my hands. Thomas said, My Lord, my God. He was so happy to see Jesus. Jesus 
when he, when Thomas said, "My Lord, my God," Jesus replied, "Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come believed." Thomas was confessing Jesus as the Lord and God. He was really happy about it. A disciple is one who always with his master. One who is always one who lives with the master one who understands him one who experiences him the disciples of jesus were like that jesus had taken the disciples wherever he traveled they were with him when he was preaching while he was speaking to the public while he was doing the miracles every time the disciples were with jesus saint john the apostles points out that only those who had been with jesus and knew him closely can proclaim him so this was the criterion they used when they elected a new disciple instead of Judas Iscariot this was the same criteria they used so they thought and they decided it had to be a person who was always with Jesus another thing which we are which we see another another thing which we see in this chapter is every time when Jesus appears to the disciples after the resurrection he greets him with a special word have you noticed that we actually say that in holy mass so he used to greet him the greet them peace be with you so every time when they when jesus appeared to the disciples after the resurrection he greeted them saying peace be with you so during the holy mass as well the celebrant addresses that is the priest addresses the congregation with the words peace be with you and the congregation says with you and with your spirit so this greetings actually implies may jesus who is peace be with us So let's now watch a video it's a small video clip which um, shows the apparition of jesus before saint thomas we have seen the lord Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. Peace be unto you. Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. Be 
into the, thy hand and thrust it into my side. Be not faithless, but believing. My Lord and my God. Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. So this is mainly chapter 12, My Lord, My God. Uh, it's a small chapter and you all are already familiar with the, with the story. So it's a very simple and easy chapter for you. Now let's prepare ourselves for the Holy Mass. Even though we, we are not physically in the church, even though we are not participating like we used to, we should participate in the Holy Mass, online Holy Mass, with reverence and with an innocent heart. So I would ask you to take all your Holy Kurbana book and um, say the prayers and the, um, sing the songs like you usually do it in the church. Also, I would like to ask you to pray for certain people, especially the people who are suffering with coronavirus and lots of families have lost their loved ones. Let us all remember them in, in this, in, especially in this Holy Mass. And also the people who are working in the healthcare, most probably your mummy or daddy will be um, working in the NHS. We all are very proud of that. They all are doing a great job. Let's ask God's protection for them. And also all the people who are working in the supermarket, working in the transportation side, working in the media, and all the people, like all the people who actually like provides us the necess necessary things. So let's all remember them in our prayers. Even though we are actually locked down at home. Probably we may be bored but we are safe so far. So let's all remember the people who are not safe, those who are in the hospital, who are suffering, who are mentally depressed, who are worried, and also the people who are caring for them. Let's offer all those people in the Holy Mass. And also let's participate in the Holy Mass like we do in the church. So imagine that you are in the church Take your Holy Kurbana book, like I said before. Say the prayers loudly, sing the hymns loudly, and Elarang under Totri Nala Ele, Kanam Godi under the Pillareke Nam Kodana Ne, Kanam Petuariku in the Pradeshikam. So until we go back to the our uh, normal routine, then I think we will be continuing our lessons like this. So have a blessed week ahead. God bless you and greetings from Bali Uncle and Tony Uncle. Thank you.